Ladies and gentlemen, the trophies will now be presented on court to the winners and the runners-up of the Gentlemen's Wheelchair Singles Final. On court for this presentation, please welcome Ashley Tatum and Craig Howarth, who are members of the Committee of Management of the Championships. And first, this year's runner-up from Great Britain, Gordon Reid. And I know that you will want to hear from him because what a fight back, what a match, Gordon. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough speech to make. One time. <laughs> Uh, firstly, uh, congratulations to Joel to play that level of tennis in this in this scenario with the whole crowd against you and uh, <laughs> as nice as they are uh, to play that level in the big moments is uh, really impressive. Uh, I thought I played well today, and sometimes you you have to say you just lost to the better player. And uh, just congratulations to you and, and your team. They're here helping you. Yeah, I'd just like to say a massive thanks to, to everyone who's been working with me over the last few months to, uh, to, to give me the best opportunity here. All the guys here, uh, Rob, everybody from the LTA, Alex that's been helping me prepare here, and everyone back home who, who couldn't make it, uh, Bruno, Claire, Craig, everybody who's um, you know, believing, in me, believing in me every day in training. Um, you know, it's amazing to be back here in, in this stage again in front of such, such an amazing crowd. I mean, I, I played my first Wimbledon in 2008, and I think there was about two people there, and one of them was my mum. So to, <laughs> to, to be here today in, in court three in front of this many people, it's incredible for, for us and incredible for the sport. And so thanks, everybody, for, for watching, and thanks for the sport. And just one more thing before you go, Gordon. It's been an amazing championships for you, obviously winning the doubles yesterday with, with Alfie, and now you move on to Tokyo and the Paralympics. It's feeling like a, a good Gordon Reid year. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a good year so far. Uh, I feel like I've been improving every tournament and again this week. Um, so yeah, we go back to the drawing board. We go back to, to keep improving, keep working hard, and uh, in a few weeks' time we'll be in Tokyo. Uh, we'll be trying to, trying to get on the top of the podium there. Good stuff. Your supporters will be with you every step of the way. And watching from here, even though they can't travel, well done to Gordon. And now, the 2021 Wimbledon champion from Belgium, Joachim Gerrard. Joe, let's hear from you, because this clearly means an immense amount, your first Wimbledon title. Yeah, it's, I, I like so much this tournament. You cannot know to be here every year, not last year, and that was uh, very painful for me to not be coming. To not come, and yeah, coming this year, uh, I wanted to do my best, because yeah, the last tournament was not so good, and pff, that's the best I could do. <laughs> so... <laughs> No, uh, I'm really happy to be here. Um, I want to thank my team. Two are there, and the rest are not here, but... <laughs> Without them, I, I think the match of today, I, I would not play him. I would uh, play it. I would have lost maybe first round, because they, they made a, an amazing job a few last weeks. And uh, I want to thank them so much, because that's because of him that I can uh, leave this trophy. 
I want to thank the crowd because, yeah, like Gordon said, a few years ago there were nobody, and that's why I love, I love to come here. There's always people, always spectators to, to, to come and watch us. For sure, you are for the British, and I completely <laughs> agree with you. But you stay, when, when, I, when the other make a good point, you are always there. You are not, ne never against us. You are for the others, and that's really nice to, be, to come every year. Thank you. And I'd love to know how much this will mean in Belgium and how proud you are to be here representing your country as a Wimbledon champion. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, I think I will know in a few seconds when I will take my phone, but yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people uh, support me over there and uh, want me to do their best. And I think if there were not the COVID, there will have so many people maybe here to, to support me. And uh, I know it will have an, an amazing impact in Belgium. Already it has when I won my uh, first Australian Open this year, but now with this one, two, uh, the, two in, in one year, I think it would be uh, huge. Absolutely. Two of the three Grand Slams so far this year. And for you, it's, I mean, obviously the Australian Open was a huge moment. Where does this rank in your career achievements? As much as the Australian Open and many others, uh, I, I don't have favorite things. I like to, to put all my victory in the same level. For sure, yeah, it's a grand slam, but uh, even my bronze medal in Rio was, is the same level, and I hope to do uh, more and more uh, achievement like this. It was a superb performance on court. It's lovely to hear from you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, our champion, Joachim Gerrard. <laughs>